to Will's World of Reviews and more. Here I am with my first ever video for this YouTube channel, and I couldn't think of anything better to start off with than the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers Megazord review. Now, I won't be just doing Power Rangers reviews, I think I've got quite a few things that I'd like to show off, but at the moment uh, my current obsession is Power Rangers, and it has been quite a while now. I think it started off as a kid, obviously, you know, watching the show, Mighty Morphin was all the rage, and you know, this particular Megazord I never was lucky to have, oh, I didn't have it as a kid. Um, I had the kind of one that just had the removable Triceratops and Save Duke Tiger legs, and the rest of the Megazord was already intact. But still, you know, it was good, and I actually bought this one um, way back in 2008 now, I think it was 2007, 2008, and you won't believe how lucky I was to get it uh, for 99p. 99p, that's it, yeah, and it also came with the Dragon Zord minus the chest piece. And you know, I mean, I was out, uh, astounded by the fact that I could get it for so cheap. And yes, there's a lot of pieces missing as I will go through when I do the individual reviews of each figure. But you know, at the time, I wasn't exactly a hardcore collector. You know, it was the first piece of Power Rangers uh, figures that I wanted and you know, collected. And to be honest, you know, at that price, you can't really complain. You know, hopefully, I'll be able to pick up. Either a more complete one when I'm in uh, richer circumstances, or maybe I'll be able to kind of, you know, pick up the pieces somewhere else. Anyway, enough about that. So, you know, hopefully, I know there's a lot of uh, reviews of this figure outside on YouTube and everything, but, you know, I just want to do it because I love Power Rangers and I love reviews and I love watching reviews of Power Rangers figures, you know, I mean, can't really get better than JT Mitchell, you know, who's, uh, who I've been watching for many years now, but, um, you know, basically I'm doing this because I love the toys and I just want to put my spin on it if you if you like and you know I've got a few stories to go along with it, so that's cool. Right, so we have got the original five Zords here. We've got the Tyrannosaurus, which was piloted by Jason. We've got the Savage of Tiger, which is Trini's. We've got the um, Triceratops, which is Billy's, we've got Pterodactyl, which is Kimberly's, and we've got the Mastodon, which was Zach's. So Let's just move some of these out of the way, and we will begin, I uh, think, begin with the Mastodon, just because that's the one that involves the most transformation. Alright, so, yes, this one was piloted by Zack, and, you know, it's quite a nice sword, you know, I mean, I'm missing the tusks, um, which is quite a big part to be missing, but, you know, luckily I got the trunk, and... Apart from the one sticker missing on his eye, it's quite, it's quite in good condition. You know, it's a bit dusty. That's because it's been on my shelf for a while. But you know, apart from that, it's really quite a nice sword. You know, hey look. So, you know, this guy basically is just a big block of plastic. You know, there's a little bit of leg movement, but that is for transformation. His front legs don't really move that much. You know, and the trunk moves, and that's about it really. But you know, to get him ready for the actual Megazord mode, you need to just take his head off like that kind of just bring these legs up at the back like that and then bring these down it's quite stiff my figure it's been uh, you know the age and everything then you want to kind of bring this up like this so it's like cannons as it were and so it looks like that from the back okay I forgot that we're also going into the, um, the pre-Megzard mode, which I can't remember the name of right now, which is going to irritate me like nobody's business. Okay, so we'll do the Triceratops next. Uh, on this I'm missing quite a bit. I'm missing his horns, quite a few stickers, and I'm actually missing the firing, the chrome fire metal bit uh, at the back. But um, for him, at the moment, you just want to fold his tail up. Sabertooth Tiger, which again is one of my favourites because you know it's got quite a lot going on. I like his uh, tusks, you know, and I like how in the uh, you know Dual Ranger it would belong to uh, a boy. I think he was called Boy, but um, in Power Rangers they gave it to Trini, and you know I think it's all right. It's a, it's a good Zord, you know, and it's got lots of articulation on this one, you know, with the legs and everything, which the Triceratops doesn't really have, you know, anything at all. But um, for this guy, you want to just put those up like that, put those back and fold that in for now. Okay, um, 
Pterodactyl. Kimberly. Oh, Kimberly. One of my big crushes as a kid, honestly. The pink Power Ranger. Yeah, you know, I thought we were going to end up together, get married, you know, have kids the whole lot, but, you know, hey, it didn't quite work out that way, and I'm very happy now. I've got a fiancé, I'm getting married soon. It's cool. Right. So, um, I'm missing the cannons, which are the feet for this, and, you know, that is quite a common thing to be missing. Um, but the head, you know, is about the only articulation you've got here. The rest of it is pretty simple. Okay, let's move these out of the way and we'll get to the main guy, which is Tyrannosaurus. Now, on here I'm missing the uh, tail tip. Um, again, it's quite a common thing to do. But this guy is obviously the biggest part and, you know, before the introduction of Tommy the Green Ranger, was probably everyone's favourite ranger, you know. Um, and favourite Zord, you know, because he could defeat Zords on his own. And, you know, he was just really cool. So, I'm going to get into this. Uh, transformation for this other sequence, we need to like press these buttons which is something that a lot of people tend to forget about and we need to just bring his legs up, his knees up sorry, so he gets into that position so then he can kind of lean forward a bit more like that um, to bring the tail up a bit we need to put the legs in now so Sabertooth Tiger goes on here like that and Triceratops goes on here like that. Uh, then we'll get your Mastodon. I'm going to bring him round and uh, clip him on like you would in Megazord mode. But um, am I doing this the right way? Let's have a look. Probably not. There we go. Um, so this is where the uh, Pterodactyl's feet cannons would go here. And it would kind of, you know, uh, shoot and whatever. Uh, the Mastodon head actually goes in here as like a little bit of a chest plate, as you were. I can get the thing in. There we go. Stay there, please. There we go. Thank you. I don't think I've actually put it forward enough um, to what it was like in the show, but, you know, um, we will deal with that at some point, I'm sure. So yeah, it stays in that. And then the bit I like the most about this is that the pterodactyl can actually clip into the back of the Mastodon feet, which is quite a nice secure fit when it gets in there, like that. And like I say, I forget what this mode was called, but and that's probably gonna irritate a few users because I know if it was me, I'd be irritated. But you know, put down a comment so people can find out. But I forget what this mode was called, but it was used just before they got into the Megazord mode. And just, you know, not very effective, but hey, it looked nice and that's what it's all about, really, I suppose. So, yeah, so now to transform it into the proper Megazord mode, the full Megazord mode, we take off the Mastodon head, take off Pterodactyl, and if you want to transform this one already, all you have to do is, you know, put the head in like that, and that's ready for its transformation. Now, for this, you need to clip the Tyrannosaurus tail in, and then straighten this up like this. And I have to put the legs in. So you need to click those buttons like that and then bring up the feet like this. There we go. Am I doing it right? There we go. So that's that bit there. All the feet have come up. It looks very nice. The tusks are in. It's good. Yes. So with the arms, you need to bring out these little arm pieces here. So these ones here, they fold out. And you also need to flip these around. I'm surprised I got that right the first time, to be honest, because I always struggle with these. Like I'm struggling with this one now, and this is a bit stiff. And I'll do it the wrong way, thank you. Yes, that's good. Come on. Come on. That's it. No, no, no. No, he wants to play silly buggers, that's fine. And there we go with that. Now, this guy's getting tall. Let's just adjust it here. There we go. Now, the last bit, which was always cool, you know, I suppose I shouldn't have transformed the pterodactyl quite yet because I always like this bit in the show where the pterodactyl will fly in um, this will go down then to put his little hands in his little tiny hands the head would go down this would go up pterodactyl will fly in like this clip on mine's a bit loose it has to be said it clips on quite nicely and then the head the horn sorry will come out like that 
and then you have your Megazord. I mean, when this happened in the show, I mean, it was just so awesome because you knew that, you know, everything was going right and they were going to defeat the baddie and, you know, wow. Oh, so many childhood memories. So many childhood memories. Um, so, yeah. So that's that bit. And, of course, you know, no Megazord will be complete. It's a bit of dust flying away. Without the Power Sword. And, unfortunately, mine is only the cheap plastic one, not the chrome one. And, you know, the previous owner obviously either had a dog or was a bit hungry and decided to gnaw on the end. Wonderful. But, you know, for 99p, what you gonna do? So that goes in there. And, yeah, that's the kind of... Megazord, isn't it? You know, swipe, swipe, swipe. Kill everyone. Yeah, bye. Um, of course, you could put the uh, Mastodon head in the other hand as a shield. I think it was used maybe once in the show, but not very often. Um, but still, it, it keeps all the parts together very nicely. And, you know, it's um, it just looks awesome. I mean, this I think this has to be my favourite Megazord, you know, of all time, really, because it's the one that I grew up with. It's the one I always wanted as a kid. And, you know, having looked at um, other ones, you know, it seems the most solid. Yes, the articulation is poor. I mean, you can move the arms like that. Up and down, you know, they go all the way around. Um, the sword comes out, but you know, that's about it, really. And obviously, the pterodactyl's coming out. Um, there's no head articulation, you know, apart from the horns that move. The legs go up and down, but that's about it. There's no ankles or knee joints or anything like that. It's pretty solid, but you know, that doesn't really matter because, you know, to me, it looks good. It looks like the Megazord should look, you know, it's awesome. All the Zords are cool, and, you know, it really is just really nice. And like I said, I mean, hopefully one day I'll be able to get, like, a mint in boxed one, or be able to pick up the spare pieces I'm missing. You know, I quite like the black and gold one at some point, that would be nice. Um, but, yeah, generally, I mean, to me, this is the Megatob that epitomizes Power Rangers. You know, I've got quite a few of the ones, which I'm going to review, hopefully. Um, uh, firstly, I'm just collecting the first three seasons, and the only Zords I'm missing at the moment are the Shogun Zord, Titanus and Tor and Serpentera if you count Serpentera. Um, at the moment I am desperately poor and obviously paying for a wedding so you know my little uh, obsession has to wait for now. But still I hope you've enjoyed this review even though it's probably been poor and you're all laughing at me really but hey I don't mind. Now next up I will be doing the uh, Dragon Zord review which will then obviously combine with the Megazord which we have here. The beautiful Ranger Megazord, and we'll see how it goes from there. So, thank you guys for watching. You know, I hope you come back. Please subscribe if you want. Um, yeah, that's about it. Cool, see you later.